So what's a grid? Think of it as a series of invisible lines that help you in structuring your website design and in making it symmetrical and easier to code. Those lines are a great help when placing the elements of your design, not just the main containers. A lack of alignment is very noticeable and creates a sloppy impression. A typical grid is constructed of units, cutters and columns. Let's take a quick look at those using a 12-column grid as an example. Units are the basic building blocks of every grid. They look like uh, long, a bit narrow columns with a bit of space on each side of them. Cutters are spaces sitting on both left and right side of each unit. It doesn't matter if it is a center, far right or far left unit, there is always the same amount of cutter on both sides of them. The columns have the most confusing name of all the grid's building blocks. Basically, they are clusters of similar content spread out on a specific amount of units and gutters. The most common and versatile grid is a 12-column grid. It is a great common ground for both designers and developers. Its biggest advantage is that it can be easily divided into different clusters of units. For instance, you can have four columns created out of three unit clusters, six columns created out of two unit clusters, and so on. The beauty of the system is that you can mix columns together. For instance, on the left, you can have an eight unit cluster, and on the right, a four unit cluster, and so on. The trick here is to divide the grid into columns whose sum is always going to be 12. You can also mix columns horizontally, so to speak. One section can be divided into two columns, another into four, another one into three, and so on. I'd advise using the grid all the time. At first it might be a bit awkward, but after a while you will love the grids. They will help you tremendously in creating cohesive, aesthetically pleasing designs. If it is easier for you, you can just download a PSD version of a 12-column grid and easily use it inside Affinity Designer. You can just Google 12-column grid and you will find lots and lots of examples. But I think that for the sake of understanding it a bit better, we should design our own. Let's do that in the next video.